we can perform our best volleyball without regeneration and rest. Why is recovering important? How to do it? I'll answer these questions in this video. Hi, I'm Jerry Popelka, Volley Country founder. You can find volleyball advice, tips and exercises on our YouTube channel. Don't miss any tips or advice, uh, subscribe to our channel. Sport develops constantly and complex approach to a whole sports lifestyle is very important nowadays. Today it's not just about working hard like it was in the past century. It's not only about training itself, however it's necessary to focus also on other elements which influence our performance. Regeneration after our practice or game is one of them. Regeneration is an important part of training process everywhere in the world. When I played in uh, Russia, we practiced like crazy. In the morning and in the afternoon we were in the air all the time. It wasn't quite easy to sustain. On the other hand, the club cared about us perfectly. In our dressing room there were all kinds of dietary supplements, uh, bananas, chocolate. Our masseur cared about us from the morning uh, to the evening. We had a piece of meat and side dish for lunch, uh, no sauces. Uh, twice a week there was a sauna on our schedule, an obligatory siesta every day and rest before afternoon practice. We were compensating the training volume. In Italy, regeneration happened a little differently. We didn't practice like crazy, we stretched a lot and we did a lot of compensation exercises in fitness. We went for massages for prevention, not in the moments uh, when we started to feel pain. Simply it also made sense, not only ball practices but also regeneration and prevention were inseparable parts of our training process. I recorded a video about 8 elements which you can work on on topic what influences the performance of volleyball player and regeneration is one of these 8 elements in which we have reserves. We distinguish active and passive regeneration. The passive regeneration is a natural process which we cannot influence with our will. An example could be recovery of energetic resources and uh, stabilize uh, our metabolic acidification uh, after fitness. Even if we ordered our enzymes to work faster to provide faster recovery of energetic resources, it'd be useless. The active regeneration is our planet activity to make our recovery faster. What is regeneration and why should I do it? The main goal of regeneration is to help athletes adapt on training faster and to reduce their fatigue. It means to make them able to come back to play faster, to be stronger in the next action, to be able to practice with more power and to get more out of themselves. You train or play games, your body gets tired, performance and mental abilities drop. As you recover, your body comes back to the normal and besides recovering, it also adapts. That means that you get your profit from a practice. Uh, if you rest correctly, this profit shows earlier and you'll also be able to practice again earlier. Rest also allows you to get more from every practice. It allows you to practice with more effort and simply gain more abilities by doing more work. If I sum it up, uh, the reasons why we need regenerations are Shorter time necessary to recover after strain. We need to prepare our body to perform in a short time after a strain. Faster battery charging. Regeneration helps us to charge the energy not only of our body, but of our mind too. Regeneration and rest help us to reduce the risk of an injury significantly. Now let's describe possible ways of regeneration. We can stretch before or after a practice. It's one of the easiest way of rest, but still not many volleyball players stretch. After a game or a practice, do a short stretching. Stretch your back, legs, shoulders. It will recover your muscles. You stretch them and you put them back in a form they were in before you use them. A massage roll is a good tool for stretching. Exercising on a roll can help us reduce muscle stiffness, soreness and inflammation. Exercises with this tool also greatly improve the range of motion of joints. Many clubs across Europe have means for cold water therapy which players use after practices. It's usually a small pool, bath or a barrel with cold water or water with cubes of ice. The most efficient form is to sink the legs in the cold water. Cold water should be used one hour after a game or practice the latest. Some people like heat and sauna is a good way to help body regenerate after a strain. To heat the body above the normal body temperature is pleasant and uh, relaxing. In sauna, tired muscles relax and stress brain calms down because of the body secretes relief bringing substances into our blood. 
Massaging relaxes muscles and help flush the toxins. Massages treat injuries, uh, reduce pain and stress, improve blood circulation and relieves tension. Massages are the oldest form of therapy. It's something that animals and humans do almost instinctively if they want to provide comfort and reduce pain. Sleep is important for health and optimal sport performance. It's a very unappreciated form of relaxation. Uh, sleep helps the recovery process and other functions of the body. The growth hormone, which repairs and improves strained muscle structures, secretes while sleeping. The growth hormone also helps the growth of muscles, bone formation and other functions which you need to recover. The hormone secretion reduces when we don't sleep. Insufficient sleep time and its disorders lead to worsening of performances and regeneration, irritability and mental disorders. One of the key factors is a stable daily schedule when we send ourselves to bed. Riding a bike, a long walk, swimming, stretching, such active rest helps us with regeneration. The main benefit of the active rest is a low intensity nests in an improved bloody flow in the whole body and therefore faster metabolic cleaning of accumulated uh, waste substances of energetic metabolism, mainly lactate and uh, reactivation of exhausted muscles. Also, nutrition and hydration are important parts of regeneration. The main goal of nutrition re regeneration is to start the recovery of glycogen resources in time, a delivery of basic cornerstones for muscle tissue regeneration in form of proteins and start of suppressed uh, immune function due to sport performance. The time span of the first 30 minutes after the end of the strain, which led to exhaustion of glycogen reserves, is magically critical for optimal recovery of glycogen resources. If we supply the organism with needed uh, carbohydrates and proteins after those 30 minutes, the speed of glycogen recovery decreases uh, dramatically. Now I'll sum up in points how you should approach regeneration. It's necessary to take into account how much time and how many times a day you dedicate to training and what your competition schedule looks like. It will determine the whole regeneration plan. There is no universal solution for everybody. Cold water therapy can be used by any athlete after a game or an intensive training no later than 60 minutes after the end of a strain. The sleep time is very individual. It's important to have a periodic schedule with a length between 7 to 9 hours at adults. We can do an active rest after strain or in a free time in a form of jogging, riding a bike, cycling on a machine or swimming. It can help us reduce the time required for regeneration. Fatigue relieving massage should be applied at least one hour after a strain and on the next day after exhausting performances when the schedule is not so busy. The intake of carbohydrates in 30 minutes after strain starts a fast glycogen recovery. Don't forget a diet rich and varied in fruits and vegetables which have a positive effect on the whole regeneration. That's my easy advice on regeneration and recovering. Why to do it and how it can help you become a better player. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.